guys welcome back to my channel your favorite girl grisha shoma is here today with another topic we're talking about trusting techniques and i'm going to help you understand trusting techniques and give you some tips that will help you to trust better and also give you the in-depth knowledge of how trusting or how your trusting technique can take your knocking life to the next level so trusting techniques are how you trust your joystick in and out of the VJ during nothing. Oh, you guys do not know that the trusting technique can take your knocking life to the next level. It matters really. Some people are just there to just do this and get off. Some people think it's just by going in and out. It is way more than going just in and out. So I've reduced the trusting technique to two and the number one is shallow versus a deep shallow versus deep if your partner has a kitty it is important to remember that the majority of the nerve endings inside of the kitty are found within the first couple inches of the opening so shallow versus deep is when you trust shallow deep is when you go in and whether you go deep or whether you go shallow it has a way to give the person with the kitty maximum pleasure and when you think that is when you go deep that she'll get all the pleasure that she deserves let me tell you that the most of the nerve endings are just within few inches around the kitty so you don't have to go all deep for you to give her the pleasure that she deserves you can still go shallow and she will get every bit of it the main point is you're hitting it right and you're doing the right thing i will always say communication is very important in so many things and when it comes to relationship when it comes to knocking communication is very good if you want to know how to knock better the easiest thing to do is to communicate with your partner and ask her what she likes how she likes it if you're a lady you want to satisfy your partner the best way to do that is to ask him how he likes it and what he likes what he wants you to do to him and the ones you're doing how he feels about it couples should be comfortable enough to open up to each other and to make each other to learn each other better to know what is good for each other and to put it into play i'm trying to make you understand that there is shallow trusting and there is deep trusting and a lot of people will think that when you trust deep that is when you give her the pleasure it depends on what she likes but you still need to know that shallow trusting gives her maximum pleasure because that is where a lot of nerve endings are and when it comes to the joystick the cap has the most nerve endings around the joystick so when you're trusting shallow and you're hitting that spot that is very sensitive you're giving the good of you maximum pleasure and the second trusting technique is slow versus fast this is very easy to understand so trusting quickly or slowly can be a question of how much strength you have how aroused you're feeling and whether you're mimicking what you've seen in the porn but it is important to remember your partner's experience beyond that you can play with angle and other factors in an interesting way when you trust fast it is fast when you trust slow it is slow now you can combine all these four together to give a maximum pleasure but one thing you need to know is that when you're just starting the kitty is not yet really open no matter how lubricated it is so a lot of women would want you to start slow a lot of people want you to start slow so that you don't get to injure her so that it starts slowly and build tension so you can combine deep shallow slow and fast to give her the maximum pleasure you don't have to follow shallow for her to get what she wants you don't have to follow deep slow or fast for her to get you don't have to pick just one the best thing to do is to incorporate everything now when you're starting the kitty is still very closely tight so it is not something you just push in with force so what you do is you go in slow 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 you're going in slow and shallow you're going you're not going in deep so you're taking it slow and shallow so gradually gradually it is opening up 
and let me tell you that the first time that you try to put it in she lets out a gasp there's this feeling she gets seems to show you that you're trusting shallow you're trusting slow but she's getting the pleasure you can go like five times shallow and slow and then just go deep once with fast and come out and continue shallow and slow it depends on what she likes but make sure you start shallow and slow but before you go in deep and fast when you try it you look at her expression and see if she is enjoying it or she likes it or if there and then you can ask her if she's enjoying it does she like it she'll be able to tell you slow take it slow or take it fast or keep going so communication is very important but the most important information you should take out of this is that when you're starting you need to start shallow and slow i'm going to give you some angles that you can take so that you don't have to just all go in and out i'm going to give you some tips now that will help you to trust better whether you're going fast or slow or shallow and deep the first one i'm giving you is upward curve in upward curves you start with your hips down low and draw a u as you curve upward down low like draw a u i'm going to show you an example rolling my waist the second one is downward curve in downward curve you move your hips in a circular pattern the third technique is the change up you start with a few quick thrusts and then alternate with a few slow movements but not saying you're going to start quick first until you've gone in and she's getting it that is when you put this into play the fourth one is up and down grind slide inside all the way and gently shift your hips up and down where instead of the classic in and out you try to rock and grind the last one is hip rider you stay perfectly still but you guide their hips towards you in whatever motion feels natural those are the techniques that are put together to help you to get better at your trusting technique and i'm sure you got this gist that it is not all about going in and out or pounding so fast or pounding so slow or pounding shallow or going in deep it is a mixture of different things all together that will give her the maximum pleasure but the best way to get it right is to ask her what she wants if you don't want to ask her out of the blues when you guys are getting in together you can start slow at least slow and shallow doesn't hurt anyone when you start slow you can ask her do you like it should i go faster should i slow down should i go deep some women's I, I wouldn't i would what i say stomach it's very close that if you have a longer joystick and when you go really deep you're going to hit them in the stomach and it's not a pleasant experience that is why some people like that do not really like doggy because doggy it gives opportunities for you to go in deep and that can hurt so that is why communication is very important because she tells you how she feels when you go deep she tells you what she wants you to do so you don't have to keep going all deep and then she likes it so for her to have a pleasurable doggy is for you to go shallow if you have such a partner and i'm sure this information that you found it helpful i'm still your favorite girl gracious trauma and i'm going to see you next time in my next video if you've not yet subscribed to my channel do not forget to click on that subscribe button like this video if you find it helpful leave a comment down there below in the comment section if you have anything to say to me at all and share this video with someone that will find it helpful if you like me as a person and you want this video to get to other people please do me a favor by sharing this video i'm going to see you next time in my next video Bye bye